right guys, welcome to another video. Today we are at a cave. We've uh, been in this cave before. Today's plan is to go all the way through. Got a nice little ant. Move. Last time we were here, we didn't go all the way through because you have to swim the last bit. So we're gonna go now and see if we can uh, go all the way through today. I think those ants are lost. Perched on the edge of a vine that doesn't touch the ground. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish. Off we go. Let's head down into the depths. To get into this cave from where we parked, you have to go through the creek. That's the same creek that flows through the cave here. There's the entrance. I do realize though that I should uh, probably get a better flood flashlight when I'm using a GoPro. This is very spotted. So you can't really see all the details from the full lens. So we have reached the end uh, where we can walk. Now we got to enter the water. Got a little bit more we can do here without actually going in, but this is really slippery. There's a lot of water falling down. Charlie and Josh took the deep route. I just went with the shallow place. Barely got wet above my knees. Hey! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do this. <laughs> wow, so further back here, the cave gets massive. Way over there is Josh, and it's just huge. Very, very big. All right, so I think from here on out, we'll have to swim. Uh, water's up to my chest right now. My shit there. All right, now we're out of that one. I can uh, start to see light coming from the other side, from ahead of us. So we should be almost out. So we're almost out and uh, we got a bit of a breather. It's a small island where we could uh, rest a bit. And now we're back to swimming it out. There to go. All right, I gotta go catch up. There it is. The light at the end of the oh. tunnel. Oh, ooh. 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 I think that's her way out. Let's go. And we're back out. It's a lovely cave. There's freedom. That was a beautiful hike and a bit of a swim. So I wish now that I brought my phone in with a mini tripod to take pictures. Uh, GoPros aren't really made for pictures. They don't do too good of a job. Luckily, Joshua had his phone. By the way, we're just outside now. Check out the entrance to this side of the cave. I gotta get my drone here and get a drone shot like from the top, but look at this. It just goes way up there. That's way up there. The trees don't even go halfway. And then, uh, here's tiny Charlie. He's about half the size of the rock. The place is big, boys.
little tree there and then the tree with all those roots right there just growing up and it's just the cliff just goes up even more i tell you going to find it on boy so instead of walking all the way back through the cave we're taking a trail around the mountain so let's see where this ends up charlie's recording it to put it in open street maps Today's a really good day for a hike though. It's not too hot and we're in the bush so it's kind of shaded. It's perfect. Although uh, I'd really like a ball of water right about now. the worst part of exploring walking back out on the nice hills that's the good part about the cave it's flat you know no hills to climb but right now we're climbing hills and it's tiring all right gotta keep moving there's food and drinks in the truck we'll get there eventually ah <sighs> Oh no! I think, I, I think I'm too tired. I dropped the camera. Oh no! We reached the top. That means it's all downhill from here. See? All downhill from here. So the trail we're walking along from the upstream side of the cave eventually comes out to this little road. And then uh, trail um, comes up to this road that would potentially be drivable with a vehicle uh, right now it's fairly rough it's got some deep ruts in it to drive over the hill you wouldn't need to do all the walking from the hill you could walk to the other side of the cave so that would be very nice oh no I wants to get my shoes wet man it smells good here flowers are in full bloom it's fresh citrus this is good. Anyway, uh, I recognize those cliffs and the little house from our last attempt at finding this cave. From here, it's just a straight hike back to the truck. We're almost there. Oh, there it is. All right. I know what my first stop is going to be. It's going to be right. Oh, no. Eaters and bugs here. Oh man, that water is good. Nice and chilly. Love it. So we had a bit of a lunch, just packed lunch from home. I thought it was being smart. So I left my jug at the entrance of the cave. Guess I missed the memo that we were gonna just walk out the back. Hiking back in to get my jug of water. Yeah, I was gonna be smart, bring water so when we came back out we'd have fresh cold water to drink. Instead of that, we hiked all the way around the back, over the mountain. Also, this is probably not advisable. Walking through a jungle barefoot. I was going to get some footage of the exit for the cave where we came out, which would be where the river flows into it. So I couldn't get close enough, so we went around a different route. So I'm going to fly over there now, get a couple of closer up uh, footage of it. I think I'll be able to reach well from here um, and then this area is really beautiful so get that footage and then we're heading back. So I think this is gonna be it for today. I'm um, Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. If you have any place uh, here in Belize you'd like me to explore leave it in the comments. We'll add it to our list. 
and then uh, I might be able to make a future video about it. All right, see you on the next one. Thank you.